can see this spring is nice and straight. See this thing in here? So it's all straight. Let's see the other side quick. Gotta run around the other side. Yikes, it's gonna fall out. This thing, I guess, is rusted off. It's supposed to hold the spring up and down, so we got a problem with this whole arm. Okay, so what I've done basically is I just, I put a block of wood here just to lower the spring down here, or lower the control arm, I should say, uh, lower control arm. I took the spring out, not actually a big deal. One bolt, 19 millimeter on both sides. This comes out, you just lower it down with the jack. Actually, if the jack comes right out, this still won't fall. So what I did is, uh, this plate here, uh, I drilled it out. Uh, you can actually see right there, there's one drill hole. There's only two that are actually holding it. So then this plate comes off, just like that. And then you can get a new plate from Go West. And that plate will go right on like that. And then uh, we'll put a, a rubber bumper there and we'll put the spring back on and that'll fix, uh, that'll fix our problem. So you can get that replaced. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grind this up. I'm gonna clean it. So we're gonna have a nice uh, clean weld. And I'll show you what it looks like just before you should weld it and we're gonna weld it. Okay, we've cleaned it all up here and as, as you can see, uh, the spring actually, I guess, uh, indented it right in there. So it's pushed in a bit, but that's okay. The biggest thing is these two holes here, they're still here. Those are just drill marks from where I, uh, where I drilled it out. So I just cleaned it up. It's never, you're never gonna be able to get all the rust off because if you look really closely, you can see there's always gonna be rust. So you're gonna wind up just going right through it. So strip off a good layer uh, just for your weld to take hold. And then those uh, two holes that you see there, they're gonna line up with this hole and this hole. So then you're gonna look through, you're gonna wind, line them up. And then this is just gonna go right on top like that. We're gonna weld it around. Okay, now what else I've done is uh, I did a little score around here. So I just took a razor blade, I scored around it. So you can actually, whoop, you can see uh, the line there. Okay, so I got it all welded in there and she actually looks pretty good. She's uh, welded in there. So now I'll put the plastic plate on top and then the spring goes back in and there's our new uh, control arm fix. So we saved ourselves from buying a control arm. Okay, so we have, uh, we have our new uh, plate installed. It's welded, I actually took some POR 15 just to kind of protect it. It's in there nice and tight. We have our jack underneath. We can see where our shock's gotta go back to spring. Got this. Uh, what it is is it's just a, a rubberish plastic uh, type of adapter that's gonna go over here. There we go, just like that. And then we're gonna put our spring. Uh, this piece here goes on the top and you can actually see um, there's like an indentation, it's molded so your spring goes a certain way. And actually on one of my uh, previous posts there, I, I, I said it was bented in there or dented in. I, th I think it's supposed to be there for uh, for the original one, probably to prevent the spring from twisting, but I'm not 100% sure. So just had that, uh, had that notice. So we're gonna go ahead and put the spring in now. Okay, so you can see I just popped the spring in there. It's still very loose, nothing, uh, nothing is hooked up yet. But if you can see up here, I'm gonna show you, you can still turn this piece here and it actually locks into where the spring is supposed to go. That's that piece earlier. So now what we can do is we can just jack it up. Even here with our hand, I can just kind of jack it up and it's gonna push there. You can see it's pushing it up there. We make sure it's in there. It's getting nice and tight. We'll just continue jacking it up and then we put the shock back in. And there we go. All installed. There's a new spring sitting nicely on uh, on the new pad there. So that's good. I'll bolt it up. And that's a good way to save yourself hundreds of dollars because now you don't have to replace the whole lower control arm.